Alarming accusations of abuse at an early childhood center in Wilmington. A student's father says he discovered signs that his child had been abused. Tonight, an investigation is underway. WBZ's Christina Hager's live force in Wilmington with the latest details. Christina? David, the police chief here in Wilmington says investigators are working with state social workers looking into these child abuse accusations, and he says they take this case seriously. It gives parents picking up kids at Wildwood Early Childhood Center a lot to worry about. Nerve-wracking, you know, because it could have, could have been our kid, could have been anybody's kid. One mom tells us investigators from the Department of Children and Families interviewed her child this morning, asking about two of his teachers after her three-year-old's father posted an alarming accusation on social media. It says he picked the boy up from school recently, went to change him, and noticed an absolutely absurd amount of bruises on his legs. It does weigh on your mind, 100%. Joe Sizowski's son is in a different class at the same school. He's four. But for him, the idea of a child with special needs like his being abused hits home. Young, young kids that can't, you know, communicate or talk, it's really extremely scary because you just don't know what's truly happening. Wilmington police and DCF confirmed they're investigating and the school superintendent sent this letter to parents saying in the event that any such allegation of abuse, neglect or mistreatment were to be substantiated either by law enforcement authorities or through the district's investigation, the district would take immediate and decisive action to address and to prevent recurrence. And the school sent another letter to parents in the affected class saying the involved teachers have been temporarily relieved of their duties during the investigation. In Wilmington, Christina Hager, WBZ News. Christina, thank you.